For my information interview, I chose to interview Amanda Solomon, who works for North High School, which is part of the Evansville Vandenberg County School Corporation. I recently met her at a conference called FCCLA because I'm a facts education major and she was one of the teachers attending the conference. So I fortunately was able to be introduced to her by one of my professors up here. During my interview, I asked her several questions about teaching Purdue North, her communication skills that she needs and uses in the classroom on a daily basis, and a few other questions just to kind of get me used to the idea of being a teacher. I chose to interview her because she was a teacher at North High School, which is the town where I'm from, and another reason I chose to interview her was because she graduated from Purdue with the same degree that I am studying. When interviewing Amanda, I found that I was much less nervous than I initially thought I would be. She made it extremely easy to communicate and she was very open to all the questions that I had to ask her. Her communication skills made me feel extremely comfortable and I felt like she just wanted to help me out. One thing that I noted was that she was very professional when talking about work but also encouraged me to ask simple questions about college in general, which gave me the opportunity to ask her the types of things that she was involved in, which seems pretty similar to the ones that I'm involved in now. Several of the questions I asked her had to do with teaching in general, such as what her typical day looks like, her communication with her students, how long she's at school, and the types of out of school activities that she still participates in with her students. One of the most helpful questions I asked was, what types of listening or communication skills do you use in the classroom? She had several points that she made about the different types of communication skills that she uses in the classroom. Her first point was about her student-teacher interaction. She said this first and foremost because it is the most important interaction that you have as a teacher. One of the types of communication she has is with at-risk students in her school. North High School has a program that pairs at-risk students with a faculty member in order for them to have a sanctuary to go home to or to go into a classroom where they know that they can talk to someone. The second point that she made was about her parent-teacher connections. At North High School, they are required to make three contacts per week. They can either be good, bad, or a combination of both. The third type of communication that she talked to me about was the unfortunate communication that she has to have when she has a difficult conversation with a parent because the child is failing. In my paper, I was able to directly relate some lessons to the interview. I connected being approachable to always having an open door policy. Amanda said that one of her favorite parts of teaching is the small connections that she makes with students. Secondly, I connected how important it is to identify, identify hidden feelings because they are often directly tied with the behavioral problems that we often see in our school systems, especially with at-risk students. Thirdly, I connected how unexpressed feelings. I have chosen four main lessons that I will strive to focus on in my future classroom. The first one being, I will first acknowledge the attitudes and intentions of situations before diving into a conversation. Secondly, I will recognize that passive attention does not work. Having good listening skills can go a long way, especially with students that oftentimes don't see it at home. Third, I will focus on being a witness as a listener, not a judge. Kids get judged so often in high schools now that it will be important for me to be a positive influence and be there no matter what. Lastly, I want to focus on creating a learning environment where students feel safe and loved. 